common chickweed. Chickweed is a low-growing annual with trailing branches. It has opposite leaves and small white flowers. The flowers have five tiny petals, but at first glance, it looks like ten, because each petal is split almost in half. The most distinctive characteristic is the tiny mohawk of hairs on each stem. It loves cool weather and is found in lawns, disturbed areas, in woods, and along creeks. The whole above-ground portion of the plant can be eaten, but the young growth at the tips of the stems is the most tender. Chickweed can be eaten raw or cooked, but I consider it much better raw. Other chickweeds and stitchworts may resemble common chickweed. I know at least several of these are edible, but I'm not sure if all of them are. Another similar plant is scarlet pimpernel. Let's take a quick break and focus on scarlet pimpernel, because scarlet pimpernel is considered toxic, it isn't discussed in many of the books that cover chickweed, and I have seen it confused with chickweed in online groups. Scarlet Pimpernel first came to my attention thanks to John Kalis's book. It looks a lot like chickweed but has orange flowers, black spots on the underside of the leaves, and square stems without the mohawk of hairs. Now back to chickweed. Chickweed often grows in dense mats. Some people harvest with scissors, but I just pinch the tops, looking for the biggest, most succulent stems. Chickweed is great in salads. It can be used as a major component of the salad because its mild flavor offsets the strong flavors of many of the other wild greens. Its flavor is a lot like the smell of sweet corn silk, but much better than that makes it sound. Look closely and you can see the mohawk of hairs in several of the shots. Here is the flower with its five deeply cut petals. Chickweed is available in fall and winter, but it is easiest to harvest in spring when it is growing fast. It dies back as soon as hot dry weather takes over. Chickweed is not only a very nutritious wild edible, but has many medicinal uses, including external use for dry skin and dandruff. I often joke on my plant walks that perhaps I should use it more often.